And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from South Africa's historic Robben Island, a World Heritage Site known for its most famous prisoner, Nelson Mandela. But they say fame comes with a price. The popular island draws hundreds of thousands of tourists each year. But with that also comes a massive pile of waste. Hundreds of volunteers are carrying out a cleanliness drive on the island's coastline. And they have a message for the world ahead of the International Coastal Cleanup Day. Take a look. This is Robben Island, one of South Africa's most favourite landmarks. The World Heritage Site is known for its most famous prisoner, Nelson Mandela. It draws over 300,000 visitors annually. But these tourist visits also bring in a massive waste burden which adds on to waste from passing ships. Ahead of the International Coastal Cleanup Day, Volunteers are carrying out cleanliness drives on the historic Robben Island coastline. With bags to gather plastic and other waste washed up on the beach and between rocks and shrubs, groups of volunteers have been conducting cleanup walks. Uh, most of the um, has been washed up by the oceans onto our coastal lines. And since we got here, the most thing that I've been picking up is actually um, lollipop sticks and earbuds and straws also. And that just tells me that the small things that we do as humans can actually have a negative impact on the ocean because we find it washing up on our coastal lines. I enjoy the environment and I think it plays a big part. And we as people have been we have a very bad impact on the environment so I'm here to help pick it up and I'd rather be here than out partying and things because this is what I enjoy doing so it just it brings me comfort to know that I am lending a hand in helping. The International Coastal Cleanup Day is observed across the world in the third week of September every year. Under the aegis of the United Nations, participants across the world make efforts to make our planet a cleaner place to live. Volunteer organizations and individuals engage people to remove waste from the world's beaches and waterways. At the Robben Island, the event comes amid continued warnings from researchers that litter is growing faster than the human population. In Cape Town, the amount of litter washing up on the city's beaches has been increasing exponentially. This has had a harsh impact on both marine life and life on the island. The Robben Island is home to penguins and has a buffer of one nautical mile, which is a protected marine area. But now, the region is at threat due to increasing waste and litter. It's also, the site is also, you know, home to different species of seabeds and antelopes. And it's critical that those um, species that I've mentioned you know, are protected. We have that responsibility of protecting their breeding area. And yeah, uh, conservation is central to our mandate. Waste in water bodies impacts our planet at multiple levels. It not just affects humans, but deeply harms wildlife. Plastic pollution is a massive problem for our oceans. 60% of all garbage that winds up in the oceans is composed of plastic. A study says there are 46,000 individual pieces of plastic for every square mile of ocean. And researchers say plastics last a very long time in the ocean. They also say since the majority of ocean waste is derived from land-based sources, it's crucial to stop the waste at source, which is seen as the most effective way to deal with marine pollution. They say small things go a long way, so even small actions like these cleanup drives can make a big difference. Every bottle, every straw, every plastic bag and every piece of waste that we pick up leads to a cleaner and healthier ocean and a better tomorrow.